Good morning, we're the Transport Bandits. I'm Cheryl. I'm Jeff, or Mr. Dimples. And uh, if you just saw, watched our last video, we just come back from delivering our BC unit in Chilliwack, and we are in Pendleton now, and I forgot to print my BOL because we're picking up a backhaul. And or what, a backhaul or a reload? It's more like a reload. It's On our load board, it's called a backhaul, but you know, you never get a backhaul going for all the way from Oregon back to Indiana. But it will get us a few hundred miles closer. Yep. So we are here with Mr. Bones, Chinchilla Mike, and um, we are going to be traveling from Pendleton. We got a backhaul going from Pendleton, our, our one, Synergy's one Oregon yard. And um, we're going to Vegas. Vegas, baby. Awesome. So we'll make some extra money on top of what we made going to BC. And we get to go to Vegas and it gets us a few hundred miles closer to absolutely so um the first thing that we got to do when we get a backhaul is um well we called it in and got our backhaul load for and then our dispatcher emails us the bol okay so what i do then is i get my printer out here which is the canon tr150 pixma and um, yeah, we love it it's really small compact and so far it's worked yep it's worked really well and then i get my laptop out and i open up my email <clears throat> and i'll print my um bol off uh right here in the truck there she goes there we go I've got my BOL. Yeah. Two BOLs. Is that? There we go. All done. Got our BOLs printed that fast. Remember, that's the uh, the Canon TR150. That's a great little printer to take with you so that you can print your BOLs if you're away from the office or over the weekend and they email you something. As you can see, this is as big as this printer is. When it's all packed up, we keep it in a little box in the, underneath the mattress in the back. And uh, the Canon Pixma, Prisma, whatever it's called, TR150. She loves it. I do love it. Okay, we are in Pendleton, and we're going to get to our yard, which is kind of difficult to get to. We have to go down this road and turn by the prison. Well, it's kind of like you're going into the prison. Well, we are bandits. And there's some other yards that are down here. I think uh, Horizon has their yard down here. And um, some other people have their yards. That's the transporter there coming out with a unit. Indiana has a yard. But this is right here in front of the Keystone RV manufacturing plant here in Pendleton. We're going to turn right and head down this little road here. Okay, this is the first gate that we need the uh, code for. A couple transporters here chatting it up. But we will get the code for that. This is our yard here. Um, we got a few units left on there. And I need, make sure when you come to do your backhaul and you're picking up out of Oregon, if your company locks your yard, make sure that you get from your dispatcher, you'd have the gate code so that you can get in. Because a lot of uh, drivers will get out here and then they'll be like, it's the weekend, like today is Saturday, and you don't have your gate code then you're just out of luck. See, it's all locked up. Now Cheryl will go over here and unlock the gate because we have um, seven days a week, 24 hour pickup here. Some companies only allow you to pick up five days a week when they've got somebody here, but we can let ourselves in and pick it up and then when we as we pull out we lock the gate back all right it's open she's happy Now 
well, we'll just go over here and find out which one of these units is ours. Okay, we're looking for a 32-foot Springdale travel trailer, 102354. So how do we find, know which one is that? Okay, now we look at that little number that's like right there in the corner. We're looking for 102354 to be that little number. So it probably is going to be this one on the end here, Springdale. And that number is 102354. Bingo. So we're going to check our BOL numbers, not only to that marker there, but we are going to check it to this. And it is 102354. So this is it. This is going to Vegas. Back up now, and we're going to plug in to the electricity. We are plugged up to the truck and we put our four-way flashers on and we'll check our light. And we have power. And we'll lower the ball um, just until it sits comfortably on the hitch. But not take all the weight off. All right, you always wanna make sure that is down. And good and locked. Now Jeff is ready to put on the battery unit. Uh, we got the tape. Okay, so we'll take the tape off and put the battery unit on. Uh, put the chains on, the breakaway cable, do some other stuff. We'll take the propane tank cover off because it is not attached and we will put that just inside the unit when I get the keys out of the hot box. Because if we don't do that, it's not attached on there, so it could just blow off, and then we'd be responsible for that. So we want to find our keys in the hot box right here. And there they are. I'm going to take those keys, and I'm going to make sure all the doors and the little compartments are all locked up and secure and ready to go down the road. And I've opened this door up here, and I'm going to be putting the uh, that uh, propane cover right inside this uh, the bedroom door here and we'll put that back on right before we get to the dealership. While the door is open you want to make sure the vents are closed when you open the door. The vents on the top of the roof. Okay, always take the end caps off these bumpers because they'll just rattle off going down the road. They, they will just uh, rattle off going down the road. This unit does not have a tire cover. We would take that off too if it did have a tire cover. Take those off. And we'll keep those with us. That will go on when we put the propane cover tight. Here's another thing that's on all campers you pick up. Silver caps are either missing or hanging loose. So, you got to make sure you put these on. Okay, and while we're here, we inspect underneath here to make sure we have all the pulls are still on there, and we'll make sure those are all tight. And we will make sure all the caps are on and check the lug nuts. We secure our electricity cord and the breakaway cable going through the lock right there. And then we will do one final inspection. Everything is now locked up and uh, ready to go. We've got our tag on the back. You'll secure your tag right there. And uh, what we will do now is take some photographs with the camera, just in case we incur any damage while going down the road, or if we see any damage to even begin with here on the lot, we can send that in to our company and show that there was any damage, dents, dings, scratches, whatever. And we will be ready to roll in just, takes about 15 minutes. Okay, this unit is ready to roll. So let's head over Cabbage, which is a, a crazy big mountain. And we're headed to Vegas, so check out this scenery. Okay, this will start the slow, gradual climb up what they known as Cabbage. And we are on I-84 coming out of Pendleton. And we will start a slow, easy truck engine eating hill. Still climbing. 
listening. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is call your dispatcher if they're open. However, it's a Saturday. I have called, we have already spoken with her and she knows we're picking it up on a Saturday. And then call your dealership to make sure they can accept. And you want to ask your dealership, is there any special notes or um, place I should park or pull to that you would like? And uh, so I already have done that. We're going to head down um, through Idaho and then Turn into back. Nevada. We're gonna call it an evening at Cactus Pete's Casino. We seem to have a good place to, for truck parking and RV parking. So looks good for us. We are at Cactus Pete's Casino. And um, we're parked park right here. This is like the truck parking area. Um, that's our unit there, then there's some other camper there. There's a camper in front of us. And as you can see, this is like the uh, area where the trucks are parked at. And uh, the casino is right there, in that big building. And we're- Hopefully there's a buffet there. <laughs> or something to eat, we will get that. And we are traveling down um, Nevada Highway 93 on our way to Las Vegas, and this is where we're gonna call it a night. I, what I went and did was, uh, I wasn't sure if this was going to be a good safe place for us to stay. So I went on the RV transporters group, and we posted, does anybody know if Cactus Peach is a safe place to uh, park overnight and that kind of thing? And everybody responded with, yeah, that they had stayed here before, it's a good safe place. So I'm passing that on to you. Thank you, RV Transporters Group, for helping us out there. Yeah, so far this looks like a great place. All right, let's check it out. Now it's Texas Pizza has a buffet. Let's go feed that big guy. All right, let's check it out. Hey, here we are in Texas Beach. Alright, looks pretty good. I think we've made a good choice. I've got the Monte Cristo and Jeff has the prime rib. I love steak. And prime rib is actually a steak. It's just cooked differently. So hopefully I'm going to enjoy this. Looks really good. Yeah, it does.
Good morning. Good morning. We are traveling on Highway 93, um, Nevada. We just left Cactus Peaks last night, where that was a great place for to stay overnight. Good and um, nice and quiet, safe, clean. Um, great place. And we are traveling Highway 93 through the desert. There's a big storm to the west of us, so we left a little early. Time did we leave? We left around six. Yeah, that's not really early. It is when we don't have to be there until Monday and we only got six hours to drive to yeah, Las I wanted Vegas. to leave a little bit earlier, but I couldn't get sure why. Alright. Anyway, uh, it's really overcast outside. There's a big storm to the west of us. We are leaving early and we only have like six or seven hours to drive today because they are predicting a wind event. Yes, a wind event. A wind event of like 50 mile an hour gusts coming in this afternoon on this stretch of Nevada. So we got up early so that we could get most of Nevada under our belt by noon. And uh, we are, it's a good thing because the scenery is still gorgeous, even with it being so heavy and um, kind of cloudy outside, gloomy. gloomy outside. It's a gloomy desert day, but the snow on the mountains are spectacular and it's really beautiful down through here. Take a look. and they only do it through Blue Beacon. So we're traveling to the Blue Beacon in the middle of Las Vegas to wash the unit. Now, we are just moments away from being in Las Vegas and uh, we will stay um, not far somewhere outside the dealership this evening. We didn't get hit with any of the big bad wind storm, so we made it through that, although the wind is picking up now. All headwind. Yeah, it was all headwind. Yeah, killed our fuel mode. What was our fuel mileage? 7.5. Oh Alright, so um, yeah, so let's go wash this unit and get it ready for delivery in the morning and then it's on to Vegas. I see our blue beacon truck wash. Washing it, we are here at the Blue Beacon, Blue Beacon, Blue Beacon truck wash, and it costs us forty-seven dollars and ninety cents to get the truck and the camper wash. But we'll get reimbursed for that when I send my paperwork in. Yeah. And 
um, we are here at exactly like 2.30 p.m. but we don't deliver until tomorrow morning and uh, so we've got the camper on so we can't really like go around and play which we plan on doing our reset tomorrow yay we will go down to Sam's town and uh, check that out because that's right next to our dealership so uh, we will stop there and see what we can get into if they have RV parking there there is no large bus or RV parking at Sam's town or anywhere in Las Vegas you cannot park your unit overnight at any space in Clark County. That's what I just found out. Um, so there are campgrounds, of course, which you are higher than normal for a campground. Or um, they do allow RV parking at some of at the Stratosphere, I read, um, or some other places like that. But it's only short term, so you can't stay there overnight. So we are going to head down towards our dealership and uh, a little bit further about 10 miles further than that is uh, roadies travel center and uh, they are showing that they have some travel spaces that's a truck stop so we're going to go down there and uh, see if that's where we can um, hang out for the rest of the day and overnight it there and then bring the unit back up for delivery tomorrow so wish us luck we are parked safely here with the long-term truck parking unit, there's a casino up here. So um, this is at the Roadies Travel Plaza on um, 515. And there's plenty of parking here right now in the middle of the day. So we're, this is where we are going to call it a night. Chicken fried steak and mashed potatoes. And only $7.99. Good deal. We're here at the Railroad Pass Hotel Casino. And look what we have here. A railroad. A train. Pretty nifty. Good morning, and we are in Vegas. Um, we stayed at the Railroad Pass Casino and Roadies Travel Plaza last night, which was a wonderful place to stay if you're delivering to Las Vegas. It's only about uh, 10 or 13 miles outside the city. And um, we are now headed to Blue Dog RV to deliver our unit and then it's on to Vegas. So we are gonna have fun. The bandits are gonna take Vegas, baby. You know, it's a good thing that we came down to Vegas early yesterday because the wind did pick up that wind event uh, did come in yesterday it was really windy by l later in the afternoon and it is really windy this morning but we're not have, we don't have to drive very fast or very far so that's a blessing okay there's blue dog RV we are dropping off right here uh, you put they had told us to pull it as close to the curb as possible and uh, he said that usually on Mondays there's a lot of campers waiting to be checked in, but it appears as though we're the only one to be checked in this morning. So that is awesome. We're going to get out of here fast. And I've already delivered the, uh, the paperwork and the keys, and they are going to be checking it out in just a moment. It's a beautiful morning here in Vegas. And then what a shame. We're going to get to reset in Vegas. Okay, so that wraps it up for this little trip down to Vegas and a drop off. And we are headed to Vegas. We are headed to stay at the Paris because we got a great deal, a secret deal there at the Paris Hotel. And then we are going to Vegas it up. That's coming up in the next video. So stay tuned for Vegas, baby. Transport bandits. Wait, Wait a minute. It's the first time I've ever seen them do that. What'd they do? Measure the camper. Measure the camper? Here's the check in? Yep. Make sure it's a the 32 foot Springdale, I guess. It's the right one. But no, wouldn't that be on the VLL? Oh well. Oh well. Okay. We are going to Vegas! Next video, stay tuned! Subscribe. And transport bandits out. out.